polyamorous relationship, it's like the more like love, the more vibes, the different energies, it's like exciting. It's really yeah. special. I think I have inspired my family, even my parents, to think about it. I'm definitely curious about it. I keep bringing it up, I keep talking about it, and I, I think she's starting to open up to the idea a little bit. <laughs> we make it look easy. <laughs> So Chacha and I got together in 2008. Three years later, we met Summer. We had a concert, oh. and we've been together now for six years. Going on to seven. This is so the red one's yours, and the green one's yours. In our case, managing in one bed is easy because it's a really big bed. But when we do go to like uh, hotels, like when we travel, uh, we usually have to either like put the two beds together, we get like the queens, right, or the twins. Yeah. Right? Taja and I went to the same Catholic school, but it, nothing really happened during that time. After we graduated from high school, we just re-met and we clicked on a different level. I knew there was some interest in girls uh, at a young age. <laughs> when me and Jimmy were dating, I felt that it would be appropriate for me to bring up the fact that I love women. It was really early on in our relationship. We were at a bar, and she looks at me, and she goes, I gotta tell you something. Um, I like girls as well. And that was a deal breaker, huh? I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, that sounds amazing to me. I like girls too. This is what we could do. In the beginning, we were open to the idea of, of just having fun with other people. And then when we met Summer, it completely changed. I fell for uh, her. We were like, what should we do? So when she suggested that we open up the relationship, I was like, yes. Everything kind of happened really fast. Yeah. Like after we um, met, I met them when I was 18 and like I was very new to life and everything and being an adult. It's kind of has all just happened and felt like really natural. Every touch, every kiss, every feeling was just passionate. It was very different. It was love. <laughs> this is what my family thinks about our relationship. My mom, she's just very strict, Catholic, Republican lady. In the beginning, it was kind of like that. She was really hostile. She's always thought I was being kind of forced into this relationship. Like, like these two girls are like controlling me and I'm, you know, this innocent guy that, you know, that's forced into this sex triangle. She's not joking. But I've been really blessed to have a cool family, but um, it's still very challenging. Where's a carrot? Jimmy's family doesn't prove so much, mine's okay, and Summer's super curious. I'm definitely curious about it. Um, it, it was new to me, um, having a, a, a threesome relationship like that where everything's even. Um, so I was intrigued by it, still am. <laughs> when the conversations come up between Kelly and I, She'd be like, no, 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 like that's not gonna happen. But I, I keep bringing it up, I keep talking about it, and I, I think she's starting to open up to the idea a little bit. Hi. Hello. Hi. At first, I just didn't understand the dynamic. It's not something I wouldn't be opposed to, but it's not something I would go looking for. You know what I mean? Hey, John, hey, good buddy. Right here. All right. I don't know. It's cool. I think it's cool. I think it works really well for them. All right, let's get started. Let's, let's get it. some wedding planning going. We all got engaged on 420, so we'll be getting married a year after in Amsterdam. I know that in my life there's no other special person or two people that I can spend the rest of my life with. When Jimmy wanted to propose to us, we had no idea. So, so and Summer, um, with you guys.
I was like, like shaking uncontrollably. Like I got so excited. Chacha cried. I have a video. She's like, I'm engaged. <laughs> So having three people in a relationship and planning a wedding is a lot different from two people. Everything will have to be restructured from the way you walk down the aisles. We're marrying each other, not like they're not marrying me. The most common misconception that I've seen is that you can't truly love one person wholly if you're saying you love multiple people. Even comments we've seen on like social media, folks will say that, like we're afraid of commitment. That's why we're doing this. It's kind of a unusual relationship, so when people hear about it, they get kind of taken back sometimes. I just hope that everybody lets them be them and and doesn't doesn't have ill feelings towards them because it's not a traditional relationship. My grandma, she's so cool, you know, and. Um, I think that she's always respected me and loved me. When I first met the three of them together, I just thought they were all friends. You know, maybe I'm naive, but <laughs> I don't know how they can be married. Um, I don't think that's legal here, but um, I know, okay, I, I'm kind of old school. And she told me, and I thought, oh, okay, well, I, I'm glad you explained. That's all I need to know. Our plan is to get married on uh, December 15th, yes. right? Yes. Um, and we kind of chose that date because uh, we want to have kids coming up. We want to have babies. Arthur Murray and we are about to get a triad dance choreographed for our wedding. For sure, it's out of my comfort zone, but you no, know, I don't mind trying it. You know, they're starting it from the beginning, so they've done it right and they're starting their family together. I can't wait for the wedding, I can't wait for the babies, I can't wait for all of it. <laughs> if they're happy in what they're doing, then who am I to judge? Who am I to say anything about it? Are we the first like polyamorous trio that absolutely, we've ever taught? Absolutely, you're the first polyamorous trio. We're not cheating on each other. We have full communication. Everything that we do is completely honest about everything, you know? Yeah, if we go on a date, we all date together. If we're intimate, we're all intimate together. I've always felt like uh, something was missing. And not until I got into uh, polyamory, I found myself very content and happy and kind of where I wanted to be. It's the best of both worlds. There's no question about it. <laughs> I think that's a, the perfect balance for me. 